Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dan Coney here and welcome back to the Overwatch League Roundup 2020. So this is a really quick news flash or news update because we've had some news on the status of the Chinese homestands for the start of the Overwatch League because obviously, if you didn't know, there has been a big coronavirus outbreak in China and it's obviously affecting other places as well, but the main outbreak is in China and China are kind of closing down events and they're closing down cities to try and contain the outbreak. Now obviously, the Overwatch League is scheduled to have the homestands in China in February and March. Now, over the past few days, there have been announcements from several of the Chinese Overwatch League teams, uh, namely the Shanghai Dragons, Guangzhou Charge, Chengdu Hunters, and Hangzhou Spark, I believe, who wanted to just clarify things and their positions. So the Shanghai Dragons said that they were taking a, a lot of precautions, that they were making sure everyone was sanitized and all that. But what they did also say is they have relocated their entire coaching staff and players to Korea, to South Korea. Guangzhou Charge have also done the same. They have moved everyone out to South Korea. Chengdu Hunters are staying in China for the moment from the latest notice from the Chengdu Hunters. But they are doing a lot to make sure that obviously the players and the coaches stay very safe during this period of time because... It's obviously very, very scary. They extended their Chinese New Year celebrations and their Chinese New Year holiday as per the instructions of the Chinese authorities. And they've been using facial masks and disinfection tools to make sure they keep everyone safe. The Chengdu Hunters are staying currently in China, though. So, they all were singing from the same hymn sheet on the fact that there was an announcement coming by the Overwatch League uh, in very, very short time. And... Overnight, we have had this for me. It was about 2 o'clock in the morning for me, so I couldn't ma make a video on it immediately. So the Overwatch League have said that we have decided to cancel our February and March matches in China in order to protect the health and safety of our players, fans and staff. We hope the fans have a safe and happy Lunar New Year, and we remain incredibly excited to play Overwatch League matches in China later this season. We'll share more information about when and where the matches will take place at a later date. Thank you for your support and understanding. Now... This is completely the right thing to do. Uh, the most important thing for fans, players and staff is their health and their safety when attending Overwatch League matches. And if that can't be guaranteed, then the best thing to do is to cancel the matches. That's This is absolutely the right course of action and I think the Overwatch League is to be applauded for its quick, quick and um, prompt action on this issue. Uh, and I will go through a post by the COO of the Guangzhou Charge in a minute, Eddie Meng, which actually gives you an idea of how quickly this was sorted out. So we'll go over that in a minute. But first of all, I want to go through what is affected by this. So in week two, this means... Right, so week one won't be affected, right? Because the homestands were in Dallas and in New York. So they won't be affected. But from then on, until about April... There will only be one homestand per weekend or per week. There was due to be two. So in week two, we've had the China, the Shanghai homestand cancelled. In week three, we've had the Guangzhou Charge homestand cancelled. In week four, the Hangzhou Spark homestand has been cancelled. In week six, the other Guangzhou Charge homestand has been cancelled. And the final Guangzhou, Guangzhou homestand in week seven has also been cancelled. There was a lot of Guangzhou Charge uh, homestands planned for this early part of the season. Uh, week 5 is actually unaffected because they are held in Washington and in Seoul. Currently South Korea is not affected by this and the Seoul Dynasty homestand will be going ahead, although they have issued a statement saying that due to out the, the outbreak of coronavirus, our 2020 February and March matches in China have been officially cancelled. As of now, Seoul Dynasty homestand matches in March are on schedule. We are aware of the severity of the situation and we will do our best to put the health and safety of our players as our top priority. We'll keep you posted on further updates. Please stay safe and thank you for your support. So, Seoul Dynasty, uh, they are concerned about the issue, but they are considering it going ahead successfully at the moment in Seoul uh, in March, March the 7th, the Seoul Dynasty homestanders. So, there are a lot of games cancelled and... There's no need to be like, you no know, upset about this or whatever. It's just the way things go, and this is one of the one of the things that the Overwatch League knew they were probably going to have to sort out because there will be unexpected incidents like this, which mean that the the league can't have its matches for some reason. 
So obviously there's going to be some teams affected by this, not just the Chinese teams. Now, the Week 7 Guangzhou Charge Homestand had Seoul Dynasty, Chengdu, Guangzhou, Hangzhou and Shanghai. So they all will be missing games. Uh, the other Guangzhou Charge Homestand in Week 6 will affect the Los Angeles Valiant, the Vancouver Titans, the Dallas Fuel as well. And then the Hangzhou Spark Homestand in Week 4 will affect the Dallas Fuel also, but the San Francisco Shock, also the Vancouver Titans, the Los Angeles Gladiators... Uh, also the Chinese teams and the South Korean teams as well. And then in week three, the other Guangzhou charge homestand will affect the Gladiators, the Valiant, the Shock, and Shanghai, Guangzhou, Chengdu, and Seoul. And the Shanghai homestand, which was cancelled in week two, that is just the Chinese teams and Seoul Dynasty. So that's the teams that, affect, that are affected by these cancellations. Uh, it will mean that the league will look slightly funny come the start of the season because obviously the Shock, I think, do they play... The shop play will play one game and then probably won't play another game for a, quite a while. So it's going to look really weird at the start of this season. But that's just the way things go, unfortunately. And as I said earlier, you just have to put the health of staff, players and fans first when it comes to these sorts of situations. But hey, we won't be devoid of Overwatch League coverage because obviously there are other home stands, such as the Florida Mayhem in week six and stuff like that. But... I just want to go through this post by uh, by Eddie Meng, the COO of Guangzhou Charge, because this really does give an insight into how this was done and how quickly this developed and how quickly the league actually acted on this, which I think is actually pretty cool. So it's called it's titled Six Days in January, and I will link this in the description. So as ex it says, as expected, the Overwatch League announced that the homestands in China and in February and March have been cancelled due to safety concerns arising from the coronavirus outbreak. And he said he wanted to give a first-hand account of what our team went through during the period leading up to this announcement. So I'm not going to go through all of it because it's actually a pretty long post. So they were saying that they were preparing for everything. They were, you know, free agency, homestands, preparations, building the esports facilities and stuff like that. And then the news came out of Wuhan, which is where the coronavirus outbreak started. He says that in the second week of January, they started to hear more about the coronavirus outbreak spreading beyond Wuhan. So in mid-January, they started educating their players on some of the basic preventative measures, such as increased hygiene, facial masks, such and such and such. And they said that they had uh, they set up a process around bilingual support staff on 24-7 standby, standby to take any sick players to hospital, to hospital if they developed any symptoms. And her, their assistant general manager, John, is an ex-army army medic which is really, really good that they could keep things under control. So then there was these, these meetings and preventions and stuff like that. But then they said on January the 23rd, things spiraled downward very quickly, starting from the start startling news that the travel had been suspended to and from Wuhan. This unpre unprecedented lockdown was a wake-up call and triggered our first thought about contingency plans. What happens if the virus situation gets worse? Blah, 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 blah. And this is when they started to um, make contingency plans to move the entire Guangzhou operation to South Korea, which I think was a pretty sensible move. So that was during the 24th and the 25th of January, they started to make plans for a contingency to move to South Korea. And then they ran into issues with visas. They were obviously not expecting their Chinese players to need visas in January. They were expecting them to need it in March when they went to Seoul. So they needed to sort out visas for their Chinese players, and that was basically a very big issue. But over the weekend, after the 25th of January, for want of a better word, and I don't usually use words like this, he says all sorts of shit started hitting the fan. So they got news of the rapid spread of, spread of the academic. It moved to Shantou, a city in Guangdong, in the home province of Guangzhou. So... And then they also heard more about tourist spots being shut down and stuff like that. And they were buying entry for certain things and stuff like that. So on the 27th of January, which was the Monday of this week, the contingency plan was no longer a contingency. They put it into action that they were moving their players and staff, the whole operation to South Korea for obvious reasons. And there was a con conference call with all four Chinese teams and the league scheduled for the next morning, which was January the 28th. That was two days ago. To discuss the status of the homestands and they decided but before before that unless the league went forward with the homestands in china which was incredibly unlikely at this point that they would move their training base to seoul so on the tuesday 
As expected, the Chinese teams and the league quickly aligned on the inevitable to call off the China homestands in February and March, and we immediately made arrangements to move our non-Chinese players to Seoul that afternoon. Obviously, they couldn't move their Chinese players because of the visa issue. And he goes on to say, it's unbelievable looking back how rapidly this escalated in six days from January the 23rd to January the 29th, when basically half the team is now out of China and the Chinese homestands are now cancelled. So he does say that we started to hear sports and other live events were being cancelled so our homestands couldn't be far behind. So our first conversation with the league occurred and they gave their feedback on contingency plans for the China homestands. But they do say that the league have been monitoring the coronavirus outbreak way before the 23rd, which I think is obviously fantastic. The Overwatch League need to be on top of these things with the new homestand format because things like this can crop up and it's very good to have contingency plans in place. Obviously, this cancellation means that these matches, that they don't just not get played, they will get played. They'll just get played at a later date. We don't know when they will get played right now. That is something that the Overwatch League will announce in due course. The Shanghai Dragons have come out with a statement after that saying that the decision, obviously the correct decision, they have said that the refund process for tickets for the Shanghai home stands, or home stand, because I think there's only one during that period, have uh, has now been opened. Uh, they have negotiated with the ticketing platform and due to the fact that it's out of their control, they've started the refund process and there will be no charge to get a refund for those tickets. And obviously the new time, place and platform it will be streamed on, well, it'll be streamed on YouTube for a lot of us, but uh, the time and place for the new, the rearranged Shanghai homestand, which would have been taking place in week two, will be announced in due course. And they say that all members of the Shanghai Dragons pay the highest respects to the people who are on the front lines of the ep epidemic. We wish for their safety and for this crisis to be under control soon. And I think we all echo that statement from the Shanghai Dragons and that is where I'm going to leave this. This is obviously very, very unfortunate news, but it's news I think we all expected. Uh, it's going to, it's the first major hurdle that the league has encountered in this new homestand format, but that is not the most important thing here. The most important thing is that the coronavirus is controlled as quickly as possible and the, the least amount of people are affected by this virus because it's very, it's very harsh and uh, we don't want to see anyone or any more people succumb to this virus as it is spreading pretty rapidly in China. And the sooner it's under control, the sooner everyone can get back to living their lives normally in China and the rest of the world. And the sooner we can get back to the homestands and everything like that. But as the Shanghai Dragons have said, I do uh, send out my thoughts to everyone in China fighting this on the front line and everywhere else where there's been cases uh, confirmed. I know in the UK there have been suspected cases but no confirmed cases as of yet uh, but we are expecting probably some cases to make its way over here. It's very hard to contain this sort of thing in the world we live in but that is it for this video. This is a video that I, I wanted to address this. This came through very early in the morning for me. I can give you the exact time if I look at the Overwatch League uh, it came through for me 12 hours ago, which was 1am in the morning. So I couldn't create a, a video a video on it straight away, but this is a, a, the correct decision by the Overwatch League and absolutely it's correct to put the health of everyone first rather than the events going on. But these will be rearranged for later in the season and I'm going to leave it here for this one. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like, subscribe if you're new and I will see you in the next video. See you then.